I did not expect that level of animation put into Tinashe when she was fighting. Dude, the animation was crisp. You could feel the impact frames. And it goes to show you that this show, while it does kind of focus on the drama, the romance between our two characters, when it gets to the hype shit, when it gets to the action, they can also deliver on that. Now, I think Tinasha aged, right? Because her body was stuck at a certain age because she's a witch. But in order to heal herself, she basically grew. She forced her body to like grow and age. So her hair got longer. I think she got a little bit more stacked. And what else happened? I don't really know. What I'm going to do today, I don't really know. Let's find out in today's episode. Tinasha's familiar. Dude, she's keeping the long hair? Oh shit, that cat's flying. Okay, she's gonna fucking cut it. Never mind. Talk too soon. Hey, imagine how dirty this fucking hair is. Just fucking, you know, just dragging on the ground. <laughs> no, she's a witch. She can keep the hair clean. <laughs> right. Because other characters, other than Oscar, now know that she's the witch. Like, this plot revelation, which I thought would be a secret, it's out already. Just in their immediate group, though. I wonder if someone's gonna leave. <laughs> Five witches. Records of the five witches. Tinasha is a part of it? Okay. Good witches exist. She's a good person. I just don't think that the other royals are going to act this way like her, right? Because I feel like one of the best ways to really solidify uh, Tinasha to understand how serious uh, Oscar is, is if Oscar abandons his royal whatever responsibilities because other people are going to shame him and Tinasha is saying, witch, witch, evil witch. And Oscar's going to be like, Fuck every one of you. I'm leaving with my girl. And then that would show Tinasha that he's serious and that would kind of further push their relationship, but we'll see. So, Tinasha-sama?あの、昔は結構あったんですけど、寝かされること…Force him to bed. Wait, wait, what do, you, what do you mean? Force him to bed? What do you mean? She's just skipping that. Did she get tucked into bed by Oscar? We did take her in home, though. Yeah? Well, there's some tsundere moments, but I think they're getting along. What the forest dreams of? Horse can dream? BALD! Okay. Dude, Tinasha grew, right? Did she grow height? I'm not really sure if she actually grew height, but the height difference between Tinasha and Oscar is still fucking crazy. Bro is like six foot six. Or maybe Tinasha is just like four foot nothing. King of Farsas, Kevin, Oscar's father. This is so funny how like every one of these characters have like regularly just like white names. Cause like anime, all right? You wouldn't expect characters to be named like Oscar. Right? It'd be, it, it would be something else like Takahashi or some shit, but it's like, this is Kevin. This is Oscar. <laughs> the last Kevin we knew from anime was Eminence in Shadow. The fat motherfucker, right? With the, <laughs> the fat ugly bastard. He was delusional and thought that he was raising up the, the castle maid, right? <laughs> that thing was peak. Okay, the king doesn't seem to... Uh... <laughs> Responsibility. Hmm. Okay, the king seems to be a reasonable person. We saw these two characters last episode as some kind of water saying like, uh, I, I think they're trying to find him, right? They were trying to like find him or some shit. And they yoinked the fucking thing. Vault and Miralis. Okay, they yoinked that thing from the monster. Wait, wait, wait. The Azure Witch is the strongest? Wait, wait, wait. Really? Oh shit. Like, we got a fucking... Power ranking. We got a fucking tier list of witches powers. Okay, so Tinasha is the strongest. <laughs> this is not a witch. This is a wizard? I don't know. That girl, Tinasha. Tinasha's been searching for him. Okay, so this is what the dialogue was. Did Tinasha mention something in the beginning episodes? Delighted at what? Are we getting cucked? In every history. What do you mean? It sounds like you've lived through so many different eras of the world. So these are all like immortal people almost? Every time you treat her bad? Every history. Every history. 
It almost feels like these guys are some kind of like space-time police, you know? That is the sole purpose of our kind. We help bring about events that should occur to maintain the natural, I don't know, uh, balance of the timelines that happens in many different universes. Yeah, are we going multiverse right now? I have no fucking clue. Either we're talking about long timeline where these are immortal beings and they just kind of go through different, you know, past, future, present, and make sure things are happening, or maybe different universes entirely. I, I don't know. They're like the gatekeepers of time guardians or some shit, bro. Interesting. World building. World building. Can you fuck with the space and time police? Can you? Hey, Lolly gets out, but... Tinasha, right? <laughs> Vault dead? I'm gonna assume that he's not actually dead and there's more vaults. I don't fucking know. I don't know. You're supposed to be like some kind of space-time guardian, bro. Why are you so weak? But then again, is he weak or is this guy fucking strong? Right? This guy's probably fucking cracked. He's looking. No, Tinasha's looking for him. Why, though? She'd be delighted to see him. And she treats her bad. Arrogance in every timeline. Every history. What? World building. Is the plant sucking shit up? Suffered by the forest. They're like a bickering couple already, bro. They're like 30 years deep into the marriage and they're just fighting. Who that? Don't touch it. No, you're getting baited. You're getting baited, bro. Scam. 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 <laughs> and that's how the nine people probably got defeated here. Sucking it, huh? What kind of moisture? Oscar is just so too OP. Do we have poison resistance? There's so many fucking enemy right now we're watching right now where some other people have poison and acid resistance. No, that's Mushoku Tensei. Rudy's new drip has poison and acid resistance. I don't know about this one though. Dude, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> witch. Different witch? Get witch. Witch? Are we cheating on Tinasha? Is, is this another witch? Is this another witch? Hmm. I hope she's another witch. Hmm. Lazar is so lucky, bro. Got a good heart, but... Lazar is basically like the straight man. Regular person, right? Not a witch, right? Not a witch. She just lives out here? In the cabin? Okay. Witch! Second witch found. Well, no, not second witch, right? There's technically three witches. We have the... We have Tinasha, and then we had the other witch that basically cursed our family in the flashback. And now this, the, uh... We have Silent, Moon, and now the, 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 the forest. What's so funny? Him choking on it? <laughs> Why did she just do Lazar that dirty? He just started drinking and she's like... <laughs> Maybe Lazar deserves this for being such a dead weight. <laughs> Became a witch. So we don't really know how these witches came into existence. But now it sounds like you're not just like born as a witch. Some people basically turn into a witch? Is it a title? Is it some kind of evolution? Like, what is this shit? Right, we have that defensive barrier from last episode. That's why he wasn't getting fucked up by the poison and shit, right? Yep, easy. Anti-magic sword. He's right. Why are you saying this? Wait, wait. His highness practically climbed that tower alone, and I was such a fucking useless deadbeat. What's our... He did fall off at the end and he got saved, but like, it's pretty funny how he's like, yeah, he fucking climbed up by himself. And he's like, yeah, you were kind of there for the entire time, but it's true. True? Yeah, one month trial. She's got gigantic honkers, man. Holy shit. A spirit sorcerer. They must remain pure. Spirit sorcery. What, the spirits won't answer you if you're not a virgin? 
What the fuck is this? After mingling souls while having sex. Oh wait, what what's going on right now? What 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 the fuck? Okay, hold up. This is important plot. Tinasha doesn't want to find a man because she needs to hold her chastity because of spirit sorcery. The magical powers needed to perform spiritual magic increase it dramatically. Hold up, hold up, hold up. After mingling souls while having... What does that mean? Wait, 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 wait what is that? Wait, wait. So, like, when you're fucking, you're mingling souls. I don't really know what mingling souls means, but you're, you're, you're fucking, and you're mingling souls, and by doing that, the magical power needed to perform spirit magic increases dramatically. Basically, if you fuck, it's harder to use spirit magic, right? Because the magical power, the amount of mana, whatever you got to put in, increases. Because the spirits are like, oh, I get it. I get it. Spirit sorcerers are basically VTubers, but it's that specific subtype where it's like the unicorn, right? It's, it's, it's like the, um, the super kind and nice and pure one. And then their simps are basically these spirits. And if the simps figure out that the VTuber has a girlfriend, they suddenly stop supporting her. So this is it. The spirits are like, nah, you fuck someone. You got a boyfriend? Nah, fuck you, not drop. <laughs> Can't believe you have a boyfriend. Oh, it doesn't matter. This actually doesn't matter. So it, it is a thing for spirit sorceries. But Tina's just so cracked, it doesn't matter. That's what they How? How? Aphrodite is just gonna work on Tinasha? And she makes yeah. super fucking uh, at, uh, aphrodisiacs. You wanna try me? What are you gonna teach me? What are you gonna teach me? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Huh? What does she do? She's all about mind games? Genjutsu? What is it? Nah, she did something there! It was like boom boom under, you know, uh, Oscar. So she did something already. Thank you. Right, we got this dragon familiar too, right? Pet. I don't even know what it's called. It. Yeah, we met a witch that said you can't fuck because your spirits are going to get mad at you. She was doing some stuff. Okay. She noticed something there. Right here. She noticed. What is it? Is it Oscar's pheromones? The forest witch. What did she do to us? She said something more interesting than an aphrodisiac. Tinashe just noticed something. Does he smell funny? Does he smell funny? What is it? What, 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 what? Tinashe thinks Oscar might be sick? Hmm. What? Uh, yeah? Why are you showing up here? The fuck? His vision was blurring. Just saw Tinasha saying Oscar there. What's that? Hmm. She can detect something's different. <laughs> oh, she can just port. That's convenient. Uh oh, Lazar's gonna rat. What is this about the sleep? Why do you think he's not getting enough sleep? He's hungry. He's hungry. Wait, is Tinasha thinking that we're fucking our past lover right now? So something that the Force Witch did is making Tinasha think that Oscar's staying up late banging some past lovers. This is to make Tinasha jealous? So that Tinasha will make a move? Something more interesting than an aphrodisiac. Something the Force Witch did to make Tinasha want to get with Oscar more than an aphrodisiac. What is this? No, 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 you know what? Is it jealousy? Lazar might be on point here. I don't know. Maybe that's what the Force Witch was planning on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Life Force? When you say life force, what are you actually saying? Because you're implying that it's fluctuating and that he has a past lover. 
the Tinasea can literally detect the quantity <laughs> of our sperm storage. <laughs> Ain't no way! What? What says that's what she's saying, right? She's saying you got a past lover, your life force is going up and down. What's going on, my man? Maybe Oscar's just jacking off more than usual. What do you mean, Tinasha? What the fuck? This is, this is kind of, I feel violated right now. How the fuck are you gauging this? What the fuck? Okay, Doan, Barsas Mage, Lingering Perfume. What is that? Is that supposed to be like something equivalent to Post Nut Clarity, but you can smell it? Lingering Perfume of the Forest Witch. So maybe it's not the, that she can detect Oscar's sperm count, but more that the Forest Witch somehow put some kind of perfume residue that only Tinasha could detect, but that doesn't answer the lack of sleep. Maybe the force which also did something to make him sleepless. Life force, though. To make him feel sleepy with the life force and then perfume, so it's not sperm bang. I'd like to think that she can actually see Oscar's sperm levels, though. What are you, what are you smelling? Kunka, kunka. She got mad! She has a revelation there, hold up. It's really obvious when you stand next to him. Wait. She got mad. Maybe she realized that the force which did something? Wait. Where are you going? <laughs> you would cheat on that. Yeah, you would die if you cheat on that. Okay, she knows. She knows. Yeah. I love how she just floats. <laughs> Camera, what are you doing right now? This is very interesting. Because, like, usually girls are just standing, and sometimes the cameraman will look at the toes, right, and pan out. But, like, Tinashi is just, like, floating horizontally. This is funny. It could kill us. Lover in disguise. Wait, 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 wait. Spell, whatever she casted, Lucrezia disguises itself as a lover in our dreams. And we did kind of see Tinasha. We did kind of see Tinasha saying Oscar, right? When, it, when he was like blurry when he got in the morning. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, when, you, when you say life force though, I still think that you're referring to sperm. In my head canon, she can count the number of kum. I, I, that, that's my head canon. I don't care what the manga says. That's what I'm just going to understand from now on, okay? Bro will literally get sucked dry? <laughs> and he forgets about it. So he been fucking Tinasha in a dream over and over and he forgets about it. This is... This is... This is pretty lewd, man. Okay. Okay. No one else seems to be able to smell. Meaning? Break from within. Is she gonna show up in her dream? What's gonna happen? Is Oscar gonna be dreaming? And he's gonna be fucking Tinashi in the dream? But then the real Tinashi like opens up to the dream? And she like kills the fucking, you know, the fake Tinasha? And then we're free of the this curse? Like, wh wh what is this? It's gotta be Tinasha. It only makes sense. We even saw like a blurry vision of Tinasha saying Oscar before. But like, imagine the past lover or, or this lover in his dream is not Tinasha, bro. Like, could you imagine? Wait a fucking moment. Wait a, wait a fucking moment. But if it's not, oh boy. What if it's Lazar? What if Oscar rolls that way, man? What if the only reason Oscar keeps Lazar around because his bussy be fucking bussing for real? Nah, it's not. It's gotta be Tinasha. Imagine though. Here we go. Here we go! Oh yeah, this is the tower, right? This is the tower we climbed. Whoa, 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 whoa. what is this? Oh. Nah, she wearing that regular shit. What's up? Tinasha. Okay. Huh? Oscar. Oh, 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 oh! Tinasa is possessing Oscar right now in the dream? So Tinasa is gonna choke Tinasa through Oscar? <laughs> 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 this is asphyxiation. 
What in the fuck? I thought this would be funnier. This... <laughs> That's the thumbnail of today's video. That is fucked. But Tinasha made us do it. Tina, hey, no way you just said it's still warm. Tinasha. No shot, right? You're not like that, right? <laughs> Yo, Tinasha, that was fucked What's up. I still think that life force is Coom. Nope. Nope, it's still sperm to me. Nope, there's no way he just strangled that dream Tinasha and got all his Coom back. Nope, it's gone. Nope. Yes, that was fucked. I know, but it still look like you. Mate. That's crazy, girl. Okay, Lucrezia. Hello. Lucrezia.何でしょうかあれは、悪趣味にも程がありますよ。焦るとは思わなかったわよ。手っ取り早いし、私の気も晴れます。あれしの。あ、俺、she Another dream. Oh, this is kinky. That's crazy how she says, like, this made me feel better too, right? And it made me feel better because she felt jealous of the other Tinasha. Of, I don't know, there might be some jealousy rooted in, but that was like, that's you. But it's like snapping your own neck felt better. She must really love Oscar. Okay, so she couldn't actually kill them. She's like, it's not that a big deal. She just laughed. She's like, yeah, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no shit. That's rich from the owner of Akashia. Uh, owner of Akashi. I'm forgetting some terminologies. This is basically just referring to Oscar as the crown prince of the kingdom of Akashi, right? Or is it something else? The sword? The sword, gotcha. Wood? Introduce a witch's blood. Really? I thought it was just as simple as have a witch or someone strong with magic that can uh, bear the baby, right? Because it's not a curse, it's actually a blessing, but something about it, it it's too much for the baby, so you can't have a regular human, but you need like someone like Tinasha to bear the child, right? When did you extract this? When did you extract this? Well, Oscar and Lazar, they got saved by the witch. Oscar was still when they were sleeping, when they were knocked out. Okay, that explains when they're. But like, I get the blood. But what about the sperm, though? Like, you, you can't. You don't just like put a syringe and like, pssst, and do sperm like that. You you, you don't just. <laughs> this is life force, right? I was right then. This is his life. I don't know if the life force refers to sperm, but this is further, you know, adding to my head cannon that. <laughs> What the fuck? How many other dude sperm do you got in here? What's she gonna do with that blonde sperm? To lift the curse, it's gonna be easier. So Tinasha's gonna be doing research on Oscar's sperm. For research, science. Yeah, you are his desires. Wouldn't it be funny if Lucrezia put something in this drink so Tinasha's gonna come in and acting all funny? But probably not, cause she's a witch. Hello. <laughs> oh, in bed? <laughs> oh, oh, th oh, what the fuck? That was smooth, what the fuck? Why are you sorry? She should be the one that's sorry for making you snap her neck and dream. Uh, this is Riz. I think it's working. I think, hey, we're actually hugging. 
And that's the episode, and I was not too far off when they were talking about, you know, Oscar's life force fluctuating after, you know, they have sexy dreams. And I'm like, is she fucking counting his sperm count? There's no fucking shot. No, I think life force is an actual different type of some kind of energy system, right? That is separate from the coom. But the fact that this witch, she had it? What the fuck? You think that she took Lazar's too? I don't know, bro, but this new witch, Lecrozier or some shit, she's pretty good. She's really hot too. Now, what was, what was the point of this today's episode? I think um, it was just to kind of get Tinashe and Oscar to get together a little bit more. It also dispelled my theory that the royals, at least the king and them, they're totally fine with Tinashe being a witch. They're very... What's the word? They're very... uh. uh Oh shit, words are freaking. They're, they're okay with it. They're cool with it. They're very uh, inclusive. That's the word, right? With witches. I thought they'd be pretty angry and be like, oh my god, it's a witch, burn her. This is actually probably the most important plot, right? This, somehow, these two are like the guardians of time and space, and they're here to make sure the events on different timelines and history and shit make sure it, it, it goes as intended. But apparently, there's this dude that Tinashe is looking for. And in every history, he treats her with arrogance. What is the significance between these two? I'm sure this is gonna be some next, you know, couple episode shit, but I kind of want to see Oscar fight this guy. Oscar with his anti-magic sword should be able to take this guy on, but he seems pretty cracked too. And then the rest was basically a little bit of fan service, a little bit of, you know, teasing Oscar and Dinasha and breaking her neck here. This is a... Um, I wonder why they went with this direction. You think that the author was trying to, you know, maybe the author is into asphyxiation? I don't know. This is a pretty fucking brutal scene, but I, I don't know. I don't know. At least they hashed it out and they're all fine. And that's today's episode. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.